This is insane. Israel Adesanya's ex-girlfriend is taking him to court for half of his wealth and half of his estate. But here's the craziest part. The law is on her side. She's most likely going to win and take half of his wealth. Let's find out why. Izzy went public with his ex-girlfriend Chelsea Pedral in 2019 when she attended a Robert Whitaker fight. But here's the thing, though. Even though they went public in 2019, they've been dating well long before 2019. Some estimates say that they started dating in 2016. Now, they broke up, though, a year later after they went public in 2020. Now, the reasons that Izzy gave for their breakup was she sold him out, according to him. Izzy said that Chelsea was selling stories to the publications about Izzy and pocketing money behind his back without his knowledge. And Izzy just felt like this is an ultimate betrayal. Now, it's unclear what stories Chelsea was selling behind Izzy's back or about Izzy, but it's still a shitty feeling nonetheless to find out that your girlfriend, who you were madly in love with at the time, is selling stories about you to the press. So Izzy broke it off, and they've been at odds ever since. Now, three years later in 2023, Chelsea is back. She's back. But check out how diabolical and evil some women are. Her and Izzy have been broken up now for about three years. They go in their separate ways. She now got a sugar daddy, according to Izzy. And now she let the sugar daddy convince her to sue Izzy to get half of Izzy's wealth. I'll be real, bro. Yo, bro, Izzy a better man than me, bro. If I find out, bitch, you got a sugar daddy, we've been broken up for three years, and you coming back to try to sue me because you heard I'm up millions now, bro? Now you got to go, bro. <laughs> you got to go. A hitman on the black market is probably going to be cheaper than half my assets. I'm just keeping 100 with y'all, man. But I kid, though. I joke. I disavow. Don't hire no hitman. Now, when Izzy got the paperwork, and when he got served, and he found out that his ex-girlfriend was taking him to court for half of his wealth, and it became public, Izzy went to the social media and posted up the GOAT. But he posted up Hakimi. He let us know from the rip, this bit ain't getting nothing. My assets is well protected, bruh. I'm Hakimi Jr., according to Izzy. His assets is well protected, and she ain't getting nothing. Now, Izzy also posted receipts of Charlotte sending him an email where she tells Izzy that her degree in psychology makes her well-equipped to manipulate people and that she can turn the public against Izzy. Needless to say, this shorty got some diabolical thoughts on her mind, bro. She trying to take Izzy to the cleaners. But a lot of people was asking the one question, bro. What makes her think in her right mind that she can get half of this man's assets and wealth because she was his girlfriend? Well, the quick answer is <laughs> because she can. <laughs> and because Israel Adesanya is a citizen of New Zealand, a court will probably rule that she's entitled to half of his wealth. And here's the secret law that she's using. There's a law in New Zealand called the Property Act. Now, the Property Act states that any de facto relationship, now they describe a de facto relationship as a relationship between two people who are over 18 years old who is either married in a civil union or just living together for more than three years. So if you live together for more than three years, when you break up, you now have to split the assets in half. Now, the property extends past just the physical house or apartment. It extends to the estate, the bank accounts, stocks, and whatever assets you guys may have. Y'all have to split it equally 50-50, or y'all could sign a tenancy agreement to where y'all figure out what each of you guys would get. Now, here's the thing, though. Izzy has been trying to get her to sign a tenancy agreement. So Izzy acknowledges that he could be effed over as well. He's not treating this like a, yo, she's crazy. He's treating this really seriously. And he's been trying to get her to sign this tenancy agreement to where, you know, like they can figure out who gets what. <laughs> right like Izzy is willing to give her something he's not willing to give her half but she wants half who knows how this is gonna go it's unclear but I just think it's super foul for a chick to have a sugar daddy and to still be pressing for her ex-boyfriend assets that she didn't help build now this isn't a situation like she came in with all the money and she held Izzy down when Izzy was broke According to Izzy, she had nothing, and he had nothing, and they was both broke, and they was both struggling, but he was the one who had a bigger dream for himself, and through extreme discipline, 
and skill and an extreme mindset, he got some success. And now she wants to ride the coattails and, and get half of it. I'm not a red pill dude by no means, but this right here gives me red pill rage, bro. To think that there are laws this oppressive towards men still out there and being treated as if it's normal is outright insane. Men are an oppressed group. There's no other group where you can just point out blatant laws this oppressive that disproportionately affects this particular group other than men. Think about it, child support system. Think about it, bro. What other group of people do you know that have blatant rules that set up to F you over, bro? It's directly set up to F you over. Yo, this is, listen, the easy fix to this, man, is men got to start being more hypergamous, bro. Men got to start dating up, yo. Men got to stop dating. But, look, bro, like, because for men, bro, as long as a chick passed the boner test, bro, as long as you can get hard looking at it, bro, you is good. Like, you don't care about nothing else. Chicks want it all. <laughs> man, listen, as long as she's hot, she's good. But imagine a world where men date up. Imagine a world where there's a bunch of Kevin Federline. Imagine a world where there's a bunch of Mary J. Blige husbands, right? Imagine a world where there's a bunch of men who are, who are going into these divorces and walking away with half. And walking away with half of the female assets. The laws and the rules will change like this, y'all. They got to stop being hypergamous, bro. Let the broke, poor, starving chicks, let them starve, bro. Date up, man, you feel me? Go find your rich queens, gentlemen, all right? It's your boy, Puerto Flacco, man. Let me know, man, how you feel about this particular law, right? It's your boy, Puerto Flacco. I'm out of here, folks. Peace.